Hi there. In this video, we explain how we created a standalone temperature sensing device that can send you live updates via email and Twitter. The aim of the project was to expand our learning around the concepts of the Internet of Things, cloud computing, and web services. Our goal was to create a device located somewhere connected to the Internet that can be accessed from anywhere. The sensing device can be broken up into four main areas. The first is the hardware. We connect a LM35 analog temperature sensor to the Arduino prototype board. And then a Wi-Fi shield provides the connection to the internet. We also included a little LED, green LED light, to indicate when data has been sent. Our temperature device makes use of three web services for Zavely which is used to receive the data and display the temperature. Zavely then generates a trigger to Zapier. Zapier will send a Twitter feed or a Gmail email. We start by activating the temperature sending device to start transmitting temperature readings through to the Zavely server. Our second step is to set up our Zively account so that we can receive temperature data. We start off by adding a device, which is our USB temperature device. We make the device public so that we, anyone can view the data. We add a channel which will be the temperature reading. And then, that's, then it's set up. The third step is setting up a Zapier profile. Zively will send a trigger to Zapier and Zapier will send the Twitter or the email. Do this by creating a Zap. A Zap receives a web hook from Zively. We will catch that hook when we receive it. We will generate a Gmail email. The hook address is given to us, which we then put into the trigger action at Zively. So as soon as the temperature reads 25, Zively will send a trigger to Zapier and Zapier will send an email or a Twitter feed. We create the actions, just like a filter, the email to be created when the trigger is received, and then we do the similar exercise of creating a Zap for the Twitter feed. We are now ready to start receiving temperature readings. Device is activated. Zapier is receiving data and generating triggers for Zapier. And Zapier will send out the Twitter feeds and the emails when the temperature reaches 25. The device is transmitting. We open up the Zively. Temperature is now 19 degrees Celsius. USB temperature Twitter feed is open, and at the bottom we've got my Gmail account. I'll now raise the temperature by holding the sensor in my hand to initiate the trigger to be sent from Zively to Zapier. Temperature is going up. Twenty-two, twenty-six. Trigger now should have been sent. I should be receiving an email saying the temperature is twenty-six, and also a Twitter feed saying the temperature measured by the device is twenty-six. There at the bottom, you can see. Receive the email. USB temperature, USB temperature is 26. Just refresh for the Twitter. There you 
better. And that's what seats look better. That concludes this video presentation. Thank you.